Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn. In this session we are going to install the latest Kali version which is 2022.3 on Raspberry Pi 4 with the help of USB pen drive. We are not going to use here a SD card for booting Kali Linux. We are going to create here a USB boot for Kali Linux latest version. Okay. So as you can see I have already installed okay this is what the latest Kali version 2022.3 and right now I am booting with USB pen drive okay so first what we want to do we want to make some changes on our Raspbian Buster okay so for that first we are going to uh, boot with Raspbian Buster okay then we are going to make some changes with the help of Raspbian Buster and then we are going to download the image then flash the image and then we are going to log in with a USB pen drive okay so let's get started so friends we are now on our desktop machine Raspbian Buster 32 bit version okay so now first what we want to do we want to download the Kali Linux latest image for our Raspberry Pi 4 so Kali.org then go to the get Kali okay just scroll down and this is what our our platform ARM selected the ARM platform then Raspberry Pi as you can see and download image uh, if you want to go with the 32 bit version simply download the 32 bit version if you want to go with the 64 bit version simply download the 64 bit version so I have download the 64 bit version latest Kali image simply select here click on here and it will start the download as you can see it's downloading so IOS image which I have already downloaded okay so I have downloaded the 64 bit version image the latest Kali Linux image as I mentioned you can download 32 bit version also simple so we have now our image ready now we need here our imager software suppose if you are working with the Ubuntu machine the imager software the Raspberry Pi imager software available for Ubuntu Windows Mac OS and of course if you are working with the Raspberry Pi Raspbian Buster image so you need to simply run this command okay so right now we are on uh, our Raspbian Buster desktop version machine so simply as you can see I have already run the command so sudo apt sudo apt space install space rpi hyphen imager and this this command basically install the rpi imager software on our buster simple so as i mentioned for windows machine for mac os machine also for ubuntu machine you can download the imager software from here the raspberry pi.com and tab is software so let me show you again here this is what the tab software just click on and just scroll down you will get ubuntu windows and mac os platform raspberry and imager uh, set of file simple so now we have our kali linux image the latest version also we have our rpi imager software now what we want to do we want to simply run the command open the terminal and run the command sudo raspi hyphen config just hit enter okay then we need to go here advanced options the sixth one option is the advanced option just hit enter okay and then we need to first go a7 option which is the bootloader version a7 so select it a7 bootloader version just hit enter then we can see e1 and e2 options so we need to go with e1 latest use the latest version boot rom software so we need to select here e1 so just select it hit enter latest version boot rom selected will be loaded at next reboot reset boot rom to default so simply select yes boot rom reset to default simply select ok just hit enter ok now we need to select a usb boot option so simply again we need to go inside the advanced options ok then the boot order the a6 option as you can see the a6 basically stands for the boot order so simply select the a6 hit enter sd card boot and the b2 option is our option which we want to uh, select here because we need here a usb boot option for our kali linux so b2 option usb boot just select it and just hit enter 
okay so usb boot is now default boot device simply select okay press tab button come to the finish and just hit enter would you like to reboot now no we don't want to reboot right now because first we want to flash our image inside our pen drive or we can say usb drive so uh, simply press the tab button come to the no and just hit enter okay so now as i mentioned we have our image ready we have our image or software ready simply i am going to connect my usb device with raspberry pi 4 and then we can simply flash our image inside the usb drive okay so let me just connect for so friends i have connect the usb pen drive okay usb drive and now simply go to the menu accessories and image or software okay so if i open the image or software so this is what our image or software uh, choose storage and as you can see i have connect 31.5 gb usb pen drive simple so now choose os scroll down use custom and i have download the kali linux latest image inside slash home slash pi downloads here it is as you can see this is whatever latest image 2 gb simply select open choose storage selected storage and just click on write click on yes and here we need to mention our raspberry pi pi user password okay so mention your pi user password okay click on okay and now it's writing our Kali Linux image inside our USB drive. So it will take some time. Meanwhile, I will pause the video. Okay, friends. So friends, as you can see, we have successfully flash our image. Now it's verifying. So I'm going to cancel verify. Okay, so now we are ready. As you can see, has been written. The Kali Linux image has been written into the, this is what my USB drive. Okay, simple. So simply I am going to click on continue and I am going to close our Raspberry Pi Major. So now we are ready. We are going to simply start our Raspbian Buster means we are going to run the command sudo space i96 and it will reboot our Raspberry Pi 4. So remember one thing first you need to download the Kali Linux image then uh, run the sudo space apt install uh, space rpi hyphen imager command it will install rpi imager then remember one thing we need to first update the rom software then we need to select the boot usb boot simple so we are ready now we are going to start our raspberry pi 4 and remember one thing from here i am going to uh, use my mobile camera because uh, we are going to uh, start with a boot loading system so there is no screen recorder okay so i am going to start my mobile camera okay so simply we are going to open our terminal and we are going to run the command sudo i96 and it will reboot our machine okay So friends, as you can see, sudo i96 for rebooting our Raspberry Pi 4, I am going to simply hit enter and now it's rebooting our machine. And as you can see, Kali Linux, now it means we are successfully booting with USB pen drive or we can say USB drive. Okay, as you can see, it started booting. So remember one thing friends, it will take some more time because it will create the file system so when you first time boot with usb device it will create the file system so it will take a little bit more time okay as you can see the process is started as you can see as i mentioned a start job is running script resize root file system so as i mentioned it will take a little bit more time when you uh, start first time boot with usb okay as you can see no limit job is running for script finish resize root file system means it's completed the resizing root file system okay Now friends, still there is some process running at back end as you can see it's happening. So we need to wait little bit more time. Okay. Still process is going. So friends now as you can see the process is completed and Kali Linux is again reboot automatic. Okay. So it's now rebooting. And friends 
here it is what our user login screen so i am going to enter here a user so user is k a l i kali okay let me make like this way first so k a l i kali then we need to mention the password so password is also same k a l i so user is k a l i kali and password is also k a l i same kali okay and now i am going to simply click on login and it will login our user okay so friends as you can see we have successfully login with our latest kali version okay this is what the first screen and now if i open the terminal as i mentioned we need to first set the time zone then we are going to set our wi-fi so go to the edit i need to make here a zoom in for better clarity i hope you all see clear okay this is what our terminal and here we are going to run the command sudo space time date okay time date ctl and if i i just want to hit here uh, enter okay as you can see this is what the information about our time right now friday and uh, the utc is zone so i need to change here a zone okay so run the command sudo time date ctl space mention set hyphen time zone time zone okay as you can see this is what the command sudo space time date ctl space set hyphen time zone then we need to mention asia okay slash kolkata kolkata as you can see this is what we need to mention sudo space time date ctl space set hyphen time zone then space then asia a capital then k capital kolkata okay i will mention these commands inside my description box you need to simply copy and paste that's it so if i hit enter now we have successfully changed the zone now again if i run the command time date ctl here it is as you can see right now the zone is changed now we have zone asia kolkata and the timing is 12 pm ist okay here it is as you can see the utc is zone and timing is 6:34 right now the time is in india 12 pm so this is how you can change the time zone okay as i mentioned i will mention the command inside my description box simple now if i run the command here if config as you can see the w9 is right now there is no ip address but it is zero is the ip address because i have connect the raspberry pi 4 with Uh, using the lan cable with my router so of course it take the ets0 ip address so simply uh, that's why it we have here ets0 ip address but there is no wlan0 ip address simply we need to go here this one logo as you can see this is the logo select it and available networks as you can see go here and this is what my network valeron simply click on as per your network it will show your router ssid and here you need to mention simple you need to mention your router as a, a password okay so i am going to mention my router password here so we need to select okay then click on connect and as you can see it's processing and here it is as you can see this is what our wifi logo and if i run the command if config and as you can see now we have our wlan ip address also 192.160.103 so this is our friends you can use a usb pen drive let me show here a one more thing if i run the command let me first make clear the screen and then we will get better idea okay so i have cleared the screen and run the command sudo sudo space df hyphen h and as you can see here slash dev slash sda1 it means we are booting with usb device that's why it says a slash dev slash sda1 which is our boot partition okay so and the size is as you can see 29 gb this is what my usb device size 29 gb use 94 9.4 gb and available 18 gb so as i mentioned 
This is how you can boot with USB using latest Kali version, latest Kali OS. Okay, so if I run the command cat space slash etc OS OS etc OS space if I hit tab enter and as you can see the latest version 2022.3. Okay, so I hope you will learn something from this video. We will meet our next video. Till then, thank you, take care, and bye bye.